Welcome to another teacher tip with Mr. Long and we're going to be looking at YouTube and how we can use YouTube playlists in the classroom. For example, if you've got a bunch of videos that you really like that you want to show your students, but they're not your videos, you can create a playlist that students can go through. So let's say I really like this video and I want to create a, a playlist on web technologies for my students. And this is about VPN. So I'm going to come over here to these three little dots over here and I'll click on them and there's an option to save. Now, most of the time when you save it, it'll save it to a folder called watch later which is, tends to be stuff that you want to watch later because you can't don't have time to watch it now or you want to save it for later reference but we are going to save it to a playlist here's a list of all of my playlists those little padlocks means those ones are private which means only I can see those playlists but you can make one public so I'm going to create a new playlist and I'm going to give it a name I'm going to call this web technologies for grade 11 so there's a nice little playlist for my grade 11 students and i'm going to make this playlist public so i can make it public which means anyone can see it if i want to make it so that only my students can see it then you can make it unlisted and then you will give them the link to the playlist and then only if they have the link will they be able to see it private means only you can view it so i'm going to make mine public and go create and now this video has been added to my playlist Okay, now maybe I want to add this video from my other YouTube channel to that particular playlist. So I can come straight away to, yeah, even without watching it, I can go and save it either to watch later or I can save it to a particular playlist. And then I'll just go and select that playlist, which is Web Technologies Grade 11. I'll just click on that and then it's been added to it. So I can just click away. And so there we go. It's been added to that. So I'm going to add a couple more videos to my playlists. Take note when you as you can add to multiple playlists at the same time if you want. But I'm just doing for one for this case. Once you have got your videos in a playlist, then you can come here to your main channel. This is my personal account. You can go to your playlists tab and then you'll see a list of all your playlists, even the private ones. But remember, other people will not be able to see your private ones, but they will be able to see your public ones. And we're going to come here and click on the full playlist. And so here we can edit the label. We can go add a description if you want. And we can also move the videos around. We can just drag them around in the order that we would like them to be. And you can also go to the bottom and right click on those three dots and move something right to the top if you want or move it straight to the bottom. So you can play around with that. You can also come over here to the three dots over there and you can add more videos directly from here or you can add collaborators allowing other people access to be able to add videos to this playlist. Your playlist settings or you can just delete it if you want. And if this was unlisted, or if you want to send the link to this playlist, you can click on that share button. And yeah, you'll get a link for this particular playlist, which you can then pass on to your students. You can just copy it, or you can send it through WhatsApp, or share it on Facebook, or so on. So there's really useful tools here for playlists, and a lot of teachers don't make full use of what they can do on YouTube with their playlists. So go make some playlists for your students. For more teacher tips, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Teacher Tips and make sure that you share us with your other teacher friends so we can help them as well. Leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.